Hi, this is Nick Rady. I'm an applications engineer here at Go Engineer. Today, I'm going to show you a nifty new feature in SolidWorks 2015 called Chain Component Pattern. This is a new feature that allows for dynamic simulation of pattern components along an open or closed path such as chain drives or cable carriers. Before we start, let's take a look at how one of these looks when it is set up. Here, I have a chain in three gears. As I grab the large gear, take a look at the red link and see how the chain follows the motion of the assembly. This was a very difficult feat to accomplish prior to SOLIDWORKS 2015. This was set up on a closed path. Now let's set one up for an open path. Here, I have a cable carrier with the fixed bracket fixed to the origin. There is a sketch to define the shape of the chain's path, which is mated to only give it movement in one degree of freedom. The mounting bracket is mated parallel to the top plane. The link has no mates. And for the time being, I'm going to fix the sketch of the chain's path. When you choose the change component pattern, there are three options. The first is the distance option. Here, I am selecting the path that it is to follow and defining the number of instances. There is an option for it to fill the entire path, which is ideal for a closed loop. Now, I am selecting the component that I want to pattern, defining its spacing, the location reference, and the location plane that is coincident to the sketch plane. Here, you can see the components behave similarly to the path mate, but with motion. The distance mate requires an additional positioning reference to locate the link along the path, but still allows for defined spacing. The connected linkage option, and let's make our sketch movable again, is what we really want for this dynamic cable carrier assembly. There is an option for a second chain component, such as an assembly like in a bicycle chain, where there are two alternating components, but there is no need for this option in this assembly. And here, I am starting to see what looks like a cable carrier, but we need to add a few mates. First, the chain to the fixed bracket. Now the mounting bracket to the chain. Now, the cable carrier is working exactly as expected, and the components even stop when they get to the end of the sketch. We can see that as the subassembly, when made flexible, the motion is perfectly carried over. This top carrier, however, because it's at an angle, does not behave in real time like our bottom cable carrier because its path sketch is defined as an in-context sketch. But with a rebuild, it works perfectly. This was Nick Grady with Go Engineer showing you the fascinating new feature, Chain Component Pattern in SolidWorks 2015.